You'll see why. Hey everybody, welcome back to Wit and Twit. Where you can be magical, but not delicious. It's an either-or kind of thing. Indeed. I think I'm more magical than delicious, sadly. I'm but more animals... delicious than magical. You know, it's kind of <laughs> funny. Animals seem to love me, so maybe I has a flavor. Anyways. Yeah. It has the Connor flavor. <laughs> Welcome back to another it's probably episode. Probably buttery. Of... <laughs> hey, actually, I don't have that much butter. I think I have a salty flavor. I think I would be a little bit more salty. Yeah, you're definitely salted meat, Dan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we I'm have good saying, times here. I'm not saying I'm not salty. I'm just saying you're salted. <laughs> <laughs> um, you really should try opening a door like a regular person. But feet kicking is the best way. So, anyways, welcome back to another, you're, you're in for a trip, because this is another late night episode where we are recording way too late for our own good. Especially me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have an early morning, and then an, and then maybe an hour of sleep, and then another early morning, followed by late night. <laughs> it's it's going to be great. I can't wait. Yeah, so we here at Wit and Quit to get you into our personal lives a little bit. We're actually planning on moving soon, so we're looking for places! Yay! Coming towards you, maybe, potentially. Who knows? Depending on where you are and live and exist. I don't know. Oh, can't wait to be neighbors with you. Maybe. Don't touch my stuff. Seriously, don't. <laughs> That's the jump button. Um, so, very. We're, we're hoping to get everything done. I'm hoping, actually, to have the plans for November complete before any... Oh! Nice! I didn't even know that was there. I missed that last time. Sweet. Oh, he blocked. That's yeah, he weird. does that. They block. I actually did get him. Surprise! Surprise, but to um, but yeah, hopefully in the new place, actually, not only will be able to do more stuff, like videos and less interruptions and all of that, but. Yeah, no, like videos. Like actual recorded videos. Like we may actually do a recorded video of, hey, new pad. Because it'll just be us. Yes, ladies, get your fanfic ready. <laughs> Not all of them have to be from the ladies. Anyways, there was something I was trying to tell Danny about. And I decided I wanted to say it on Wit and Twit. Because, because life. It, it's life, life and it's, it, it's supposed to be Wit and Twit. And while. I may be stupid in the game and stupid eventually as it gets late with Danny I dead space stuff things. Oh, that goes. Um <clears throat> I, I I feel like kinda going on this diatribe here. Relationships. I've had one in a while. This is true. However He just breaks shit, man. I know, he's kinda good at that. I I am reminded of marriage. Was two was um, in a you, good relationship. You use your mouth to use syllables. Uh, yeah, that, and I, I also was cracking my jaw there. Whether or not that'll show up on the audio, I doubt. Um. Oh, hey, he's back. Oh, he wants some. <laughs> he wants the the steel. Wow, that was completely ineffectual. There we are. Still missing. Well, yeah, I pulled back on the thumbstick by accident. And by accident, I mean tired brain. Um, I have been to a handful of weddings, and one thing that I have always thought, well, every, everything I've always remembered Tell is... Tell me what you remembered. In a relationship, you don't just get the best of a person. You get the worst of them, too. Yeah. So to expect somebody for a relationship to be I mean if you if you love somebody, you love somebody. It shouldn't matter where they are. Yeah, sure, we're all adults, we wanna necessarily have somebody who's in a relatively stable position, but I I, I mean that shouldn't matter. It it really shouldn't. Not with you, man. I mean, stable is a fleeting thing anyway. Uh, not moving in together unless you're both stable. Yeah, sure. No, go right ahead for that. <laughs> Seriously, don't move in with somebody who doesn't have a job. It, it leads to only bad things. Um, but if you love somebody, 
and you want to be with them, if they're a fucking hobo on the street, fucking do it. Like, God, I don't even know if like, this story is real or not, <laughs> but uh, there was a story I read online of a teenager who fell in love with a, a homeless guy. Like, he was another, maybe a couple years older than, I think she was like 16, he may have been 18 or something. But, they, they fell in love, and the, the, the homeless guy, like, he ended up staying a lot with the family, and he was a really nice guy, like, you know, would be polite, and, um, clean up after himself, and do it, but, he, I mean, he legitimately lived on, he either couch surfed, or he, you know, this lived on the street. the bad guys having axes, can't they come up with a different weapon? Sorry, go ahead. A few of them have had swords. The skeletons have swords. Oh god! I'm talking about the main Ouch, bosses. Geez. They're like must-have giant meat cleaver. Well, axes are powerful but slow, so they're good for you know those powerful sweeping actions. Um, Astaroth. 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 That's <laughs> so called right. Um. Anyways. So, so the, the 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 parents found out about it and were slightly concerned, but they 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 were like, you know what? We love our daughter. We, this guy is a nice guy, at least. Let's let's trust him. And you know, they welcomed him into the home, and he was really nice. And when they found it, finally found out like he had a job offering, the father took him aside and said, "Come inside. You're putting on a suit. I am paying for this." We are getting you there, because you are a wonderful person who loves our daughter. You need some help? Fine. Everyone needs help sometimes. But you love our daughter, our daughter loves you, and that's enough. I mean, you're also not a crazy axe murderer, I'm adding this part to the story. I mean, it's something to keep in mind, right? <laughs> legitimately. Yeah, but I follow. To limit yourself, or anybody else, because... Uh, yes, you should want the best for yourself, but, I mean, asking anybody to be like, oh, I can't date you because you don't have a good job. <sighs> no, you don't ask them to move in because they don't have a good job, not, you know, they don't date them because they don't have a good job. I just, I, I pushed the jump button. I pushed it. I just want to say you just pushed the forward button and that was it. <laughs> yeah, stupid controller. Stupid, tired brain. But... It, don't limit yourself just because... You know, somebody says you're not in a good enough place. If, if that's the case, then... Do they really care about you or do they just care about your status? That's kind of what I... I have a very similar thought process to that. And the only thing I would say that is different is that if you aren't willing to try, if the person isn't willing to try to better themselves ever, or they have, or they constantly prove that they can't keep a job and it's just going to be a drain on you forever, then that's when maybe you cut, cut the ties. But if someone shows like in your story that hey got a job offer and could might possibly be able to keep Griffin it. buddy still fighting pretty cool yeah go Griffin buddy um or if the person is just down on his luck like they had a had a good job and then lost because of reasons that could mean that hey they could still get a good job it's just right now they don't have the job that they used to have like I I believe that that should be taken in consideration as well. Like, you know, everyone falls on hard times, and people get fired, or get laid off, or or stop working there because or, um, of different reasons. I mean, not just laid off, but like the job was cut, or you know, whatever. Out of business. There's lots of things that could happen that make it so that you don't. Have the a company job explodes due to reasons. Uh, the Joker is someone's trying to mirror the, uh, mimic the Joker in uh, 
from Batman, from the Batman series, and so people just end up getting murdered and whatnot. So it's just, you never really know what's going to happen in this crazy, crazy world, especially nowadays with all those shootings in public places. Oh. That, but that's a whole different thing that we're going to try to stay away from, but it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. But the point is, if well, you are someone who can get a job and can better themselves, better yourself, then not having a job at the moment is just kind of an annoyance until you get a new one. Yeah, I mean, not wanting to be a drain on somebody is certainly that. That's for true. But, I mean, if it's just a relationship where you're dating, going out, and you know they're not going to be any of that, and you're just not being with them because... No, he doesn't have a stable job. Oh, he's not making six figures. Oh, he's not... Or X number of figures. Yeah, that... No, I'm sorry. That person has something they need to work out. You can do anything to better yourself, but... There's a point where you also have to go... For your own good. It's just not worth it. Oh... Kind of like not worth holding onto a bomb until it explodes. Yeah, there's a trick to it. I'm trying to remember exactly how to do it. I think it's... Not that. I have to throw it through that little hole. <laughs> that little tight hole. squeeze. Got it. Still only took me do 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 do. No, wait. Um, There's a different sound for that. Ooh. Does that mean you get a full? Oh, you got another one. Yeah. Yeah. You you know I, I life bar. I, 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 I kind of hope that somebody doesn't think we were talking about them and we were actually talking about you instead. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like we could have been talking about some other people, but no, legitimately talking about Danny here and no one else. Truly, this is actually truthfully. But why is this door? Fuck. Um, <clears throat> we are talking about Danny. All about the Danny. Well, and Danny's, relationships in general, but the, the specifically that Danny is a part of. Specifically, the relationships that Danny is a part of currently, or potentially will be, or may never or be again. <laughs> Sorry. If only you could flap those wings. That would be extra useful, right? I know, right? I mean, being able to, you know, hover, whatever, glide is fun. Got it. And all. But is it really worth it if you can't even flap those useless wings? Flap your useless wings. I mean, it's, I kind of feel like Seth Roth's wing, one wing, is more useful than those wings that you have here. I mean, technically true. Because for some crazy reason, he can I fly guess. normally with it instead of just fly in a goddamn circle. Okay, so I gotta. Sorry, I'm also thinking about stuff I need to go and do. What? What good point? Oh. I figured out. <laughs> kind of looks like the... Well, I, at first I thought the water was going sideways. I'm like, well, that's a weird thing. And then you remembered it was raining? Well, I mean, it, then I actually saw that it was going down. Whoop! Oh, I made it. Oppa! 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 da hoo ha It would be really funny if it just shattered. It'd be like, well, now what? Shit. <laughs> I broke it. Nah, nah. They just don't make giant stone statues the way they used to. I mean, right? Speaking of things, what the freak was that on the top corner, top left of your screen? That's a tentacle monster. You can't escape uh, those, ceiling, can uh, we uh, ever? I'm gonna call it a ceiling tooth vagina. Ceiling tooth vagina? That is the least sexiest vagina that I've heard about in a long time. I mean, look at it. Oh, oh, oh man. Just imagining like a wang trying to go in there. Ugh. <laughs> it's truly God, you just literally just walked into that. Yeah, I was trying to Can you not. just go around the droopiness? Apparently not. Yeah, no, okay, so I have to come back here with something else. Um there's a chest on the other side of that I actually. Can't you an like item. do that spinny move that 
It's kind of like a hedgehog slashy attack? No. Uh, I think I need a specific thing, like to get a bomb to carry into that, or a gun to shoot oh, it. Oh man, what is with this testicle of a room? Well, this is the main area testicle room. Ceiling <laughs> main area projector. testicle room. Jeez. This game, I, I thought this all. was supposed to be for kids. No, it's rated M for mature. Really? Yeah, it is. For all the testicles that are on it? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Hey, it's like dropping down from Ocarina of Time into the giant web. Ah! Oof. Something like that? Except slightly more badass because you punch <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Instead of taking heart pieces of damage. Yeah. Oh, man. Speaking of... Hey, he's just running away. Speaking of Link and damage, reminds me of the death battles that they have on, like, Screw Attack's death battle. Like, oh, like who versus who? Yeah. Like, so, spoilers, Link wins against my man Cloud. And that really bugs me, because I, I, know, I, I do... You know, Link is a powerful warrior. Yes, I'd give him that. But Cloud, I mean, the weight of the Buster Sword alone and the fact that how easy he can wield it... Plus the magic that Final Fantasy VII has compared to well, Legend of Zelda. I mean, Cloud in the game gets shot from the very beginning and basically just, you know, brushes it off. By the end of the game, he he's freaking fighting a goddamn demonic overworld meteor-like thing by himself solo doing Omni Slash, which is like, what, 13 friggin' instantaneous hits? Link has a spin move. <laughs> I mean, Link, you're good and all, but seriously, no. You they, you um, are not a sword fighter compared to Cloud. It, no. They, they, with the, with all the items that he has, like the gauntlets of strength and the boots of speed and whatnot and the weighted boots and all, all the thises and thats, apparently he matches Cloud pretty much. Uh, the the, and, and, and the all, giant gauntlets. Uh, apparently, it's enough to uh, enough to, to lift giant columns of uh, of granite and it's throw them. It's true. In Ocarina of Time, he does in fact do. Oh, I get the glaive. Nice. That looks cool. That badass shuriken. Yep. It's also pretty big. Man. Now I'll be able to get into the tentacle mouth vagina. <laughs> That uh, crossblade, you know, I just had a uh, Inuyasha moment with a uh, Hinakto. Um, oh shit, and my 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 lady friend, um, Sango. Hell yeah, Sango with that big boomerang. Fucking yeah, man. Anyway, um, but yeah, oh, yes. so basically, and they made it so that they had Cloud and Link have his like have their most iconic magic and spells or whatever so cloud had like lightning and fire and that was it he didn't have any cure spells and he didn't have any summon spells and stuff like that i mean knights of the round anyone no he did not have any quadra like knights of the round for the holy crap i just kept going um here watch this and apparently <laughs> apparently link's master sword uh does extra damage to Cloud because he's got, like, evil cells in them or something? I mean, technically, yes, but it's supposed to be against, like... Yeah, is the sword to fight evil true, but, I mean, it really wouldn't affect... Cloud himself Genosha, is not The Genosha cells are not actually evil, really. I mean, but by I mean, the it's pure classification of what the evil is, yes, it's an inv evil and in it's an invasive... Oh, hi. You're fun. Tumor man! It's an invasive cell, alien cell that. Man, I wish we could fight cancer this way. <laughs> right? This would be so satisfying. Um, um, yeah, so I, I think there's a lot of reasons why Cloud might actually win that death battle, but it's hard to. It's hard for. It's hard for me to really complain about it because watching the whole episode, like, death battle. You can tell that they really do their homework and they put a lot of time and effort into why they think a character would win against another character. Don't they vote? No, that's it. No, that's they. They don't have any voting system at, in this at all. It's simply who they they 
analyze everything, like their whole team does, and then based on what they come up with, they figure out who would win using science, math, that, I, I ripped out his spine. And then tumor... Oh, <laughs> thank you <laughs> for ending the vomit. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, that was that was a thing. So like when you watch it, you're like you want to. I when I watched it, I was just like I see what you're going for and I understand, but at the same time, I still think that you're probably wrong. But I can't really fully say that you are. But the main point of me bringing that up is, is that my my favorite character of all time in like the fantasy world, like fictional world, is Cloud. And he gets killed by Link, who's someone who I do I do like Link a lot. But recently, there it is. My my favorite female character of all time, Tifa, just oh, spoilers also gets killed. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And who, who all, got her? Um, you actually probably do know her, Yang, from she's a punchy girl with has like shotgun gauntlets. From Ruby? Yes. She she was able. Okay, to... I will actually call it in favor of uh, uh, Yang from Ruby, I... And, I, and I will tell you specifically why. Yang does have super strength, but her signature, her signal or whatever, I can't remember what the heck it's called. Yeah, it's something like that. I... Um, she absorbs damage, and she when she absorbs damage, so she's. Not exactly immortal, but she can. It certainly looks like it based on how much damage she can take. Yeah, she absorbs. It, 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 remember Vandal Savage from the X Men First Class? Come freaking Vandal Savage from X Men. Kevin Bacon from X Men First Class. That's definitely not Vandal Savage. That's DC. Uh, his, it was who is he? I think he was a Savage. He. Um, I don't remember his name, but. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. Anyways, Kevin Bacon's character in that particular movie, movie um, is able to absorb kinetic energy. Yang basically does the same thing. She absorbs damage and then gets stronger and conditioned back out. I mean, there's probably a limit. Like, she can't do too much, but and you... she does so... Brawler vs. Brawler, that is a poor matchup for Tifa. Yeah, simply um, because of Yang's innate ability. The, uh... And you can pretty much tell when they were going through the description of their powers, because they were saying things like Tifa is a glass cannon who can dish it out, but in comparison to how much she can give, she cannot receive as much as she gives. So, and then they're saying things like, uh, Yang can fall, can can get punched through a concrete wall and be fine. Oops. And things like that. So you're just like, oh man. If you want to hear the rest of this discussion, you're going to have to watch the next episode of Darksiders. I just want to say, it saddens no. me. Nope. You're going to save it for the next time. I got so much to say! We're going to tease them. See you guys I'm like, tease time. my nuts. I mean, okay.